couple things I wanted to go over tonight. One was the status of the investigation. So there's a lot I want to tell you, but I can't tell you everything, and I don't want to just kind of broadcast where we're at, what we do or don't know entirely. But I want to give you some information. Uh, so based on the fires in November and then the couple of fires we had on uh, the 20th of February, um, we're highly suspicious as you are that they are related. Now, when we have a fire up on Green Mountain or anywhere that's a wildland type fire, uh, we comb the area the entire next day. Uh, which we did on Green Mountain after all the fires that occurred up there, including November and uh, in February. So we're looking for one, where did the fire start? So we can start looking for evidence of what started it. So uh, most of the time in a wildland fire situation, it kind of spreads out in a nice cone. The interesting part about Green Mountain, if anybody's been up there, there's a lot of wind. The wind can go all kind of different directions. So sometimes that nice cone is obscured so. so it just takes a little bit longer and a lot more detailed work so what we do in detail we're looking for something on the ground in the area where we think the fire started as small as a match so you can imagine a burnt match in burnt grass and ashes but that's what we're looking for uh, and then anything else that might be larger than that we look for things like footprints or clothing or anything that might be still there including um, I see broken branches and, and that kind of thing. So knowing that Green Mountain, there's a lot of footprints up there. So it's hard for us to nail down exactly what one it is. So a lot of discussions and, and with this uh, task force now, but even in November, we were all meeting and working together with West Metro Fire, the Lakewood Police Department, the Jefferson County Sheriffs, and the ATF. So as far back as November, we all been uh, working together on this and combining our resources and our, our brain power to find out what else we can discover from the, the evidence that we do have. So then when we have looked at the site, we do a lot of documenting and mapping and measuring and uh, of the site and what we found and didn't find and where it is. Because even though there's no evidence there right now, when we do get evidence, we do get a suspect, we want to present all of those in court. And so they have to be very professionally documented. Uh, so that's some of what we spend time up there doing after the fire. And then we talk to, to you all or, or whoever comes forward and says, I saw something, I think I saw something. Um, you know, we, we follow up on all of those. And so far from the hotline and from Canvas in the neighborhood, the ones we followed up on haven't led us to any specific suspect. And somebody asked about the investigation. Uh, I wanted to backtrack just one step. With West Metro Fire, our fire investigators are certified peace officers. So they have the authority to file cases with the district attorney and to conduct uh, criminal cases with the court and with the police department. So that's why Chad mentioned that you know, Lakewood Police certainly helps us a lot with canvas in the area, getting witness, witness statements. They also do a lot of collecting evidence for us. Um, but in the end, our police officers are the ones that actually uh, file the charges. So um, we have completely documented and investigated the grass down to looking for matches. Uh, we've set up a plan with uh, every cooperating agency that we can uh, get in contact with that's going to be able to respond fairly quickly. So, so know that, that we are spending a lot of time and a lot of focus on what's going on uh, up on Green Mountain.